What's good, YouTube? This your boy, Woke. Man, we are back with another one. Hey, y'all. We got a lot coming up. We got some great fights this weekend. Errol Spence. Stanley Onis. Isaac Cruz. Who else? Connor Ben. Uh, the great sister, Alicia Baumgartner. We got a lot of fights coming up, y'all. But what we talking about today, all these great fights... Dang near most of the people I just mentioned ain't even in ESBC. Come on, man. We boxing is coming back with a force. I know in the boxing game, you don't want every single star, right? You don't want every single fighter. Obviously, we can't have every single person. And obviously, you want a lot of legends, right? You want the best of the best for the most part. With a few more popular names that may not be the best, but we still need them all, bro. So today, we about to walk through the ESBC roster as we have it right now and see who we still need in this game modern day. Because we got some names. This, I thought about it the other day. I was like, man, we missing a lot of fighters still. And I mean, the roster, I, I like it so far, but man, it, it, we missing a lot of people. Big names. It's not going to be covering historical fighters. I'll do another video talking about the historical fighters because that's it's even worse than the modern day fighters y'all but hey i hope they got a lot of people they ain't showed us so let's get into it first thing i'm gonna do right it's the first thing i did right we split screen today I had to come to ring magazine now look ring magazine we know that they are old media they are op central right but they do have a pretty good ranking system of at least the top 10 guys in every division, right? We're going to use the top 10 guys of every division, compare that with the divisions we have in ESBC. Obviously, some guys may be cross-divisional or whatever in ESBC, but, yo, I looked at this and I wanted to put it on tape. We got to get some more people up in this game, man. I know it's still people we need and all that, but man, we missing some good folks. We missing some names. So let's zoom in first, right? Let's start. Let let let's not start at the, the flyweights or junior flyweights, right? Uh, no man should be 108 pounds. I'm sorry. That that just I don't know about that. I don't. Great brother, you need to eat. You need to eat. No man should be 108 pounds. Anyway. So let's start at the heavyweight division, right? Let's look at the top 10 guys at heavyweight here. Of course, we have the the Cap King Tyson Nandrelim Fury. We do know we got him in the game. Now, this is kind of an older, outdated one, but this is the best one he had, right? So we know Tyson Fury is in the game, right? So that'd be, we got Fury. Alexander Usyk, we know we got him. Awesome. So that's two of the two, of, according to them, two to three, top three. Um, we got we don't have AJ jo Anthony Joshua, right? Hopefully he can get to, he gets in the game, right? We need him in the game. That'll be great for the game if we get AJ. Having the top four heavyweights, obviously we know we got Deontay Wilder as well. That'll be huge for the SBC, right? That'll be huge for USBC. So right now, we don't have Anthony Joshua. We do not have Dillian White. I would like to have Dillian White. And I'll go through all everybody. I say at least, can we get the least maybe the top five or six people in every division? And maybe if it's like a more popular name, everybody may use or something. Let's get one of them people. But like, like polarizing, like our Dillian White. I think he's solid enough. He's from the UK, right? We need him in the game. Joseph Parker, he not really memorable. I mean, I you know, respected Joseph Parker, but I would be okay if he's not in the game. Andy Ruiz, granted what he did against Anthony Joshua, we need him in the game. And plus, the way he fights, he's so short and fat, his style would be really cool to emulate. King Kong Ortiz, I mean, he'd be cool, but I'm not really tripping. I mean, Joe Joyce, obviously, he in the game, but we know he in, I mean, they gonna make sure that the, the British dudes is in, but Joe Joyce, like, bro, 
We need Dillian White and Andy Ruiz before we get Joe Joyce. Especially Anthony Joshua. So heavyweight, we we okay, but it ain't. At least we got three of the top four, right? We got three of the top four. According to them, we got I guess four of the top nine. Four of the top eight. That's that's okay. So 50%, right? We'll get that to ESBC. And hope and honestly, I think they got AJ. I think they got Dillian White too. And Andy Ruiz, man, I gotta do a whole video on PBC dudes, bro. It's it is sparse on PBC people. Let's go to Cruiserweight. Okay. Clearly, the best Cruiserweight in the world is, is Alexander Usyk. We just saw him in the heavyweight division, so we're not going to trip on him, right? Okay, so let's go through it. Marius Breedis. No Breedis. We don't have the best, the second best guy technically, but let's say, say he's the first, right? We don't have him. Uniel Dorticos. We don't got the great brother from Cuba. Lawrence Ocoli. We do got Lawrence Ocoli. And we've actually been able to see him in the gameplay, which is awesome. Elunga Makabu. We don't got him. No, we don't. Um, Who is these next people? Man, y'all know these folks, bro. Tabiso Michunu. I'm not about to even try this brother name. Glowaki. Alexi Pappin. I mean, we ain't got none of them. That's that's what I see. We don't we don't even got we got one of the top ten cruiserweights in the world. I'm sorry, I don't Vidal Riley, great brother. I don't even think you got ten fights yet. We need some more of these brothers that's actually making a difference. Okay, let's get light heavyweight. Okay. Now, typically this was picked. Legends were separate, but I guess they forgot to take Roy out. Obviously, Roy Jones Jr., the best light heavyweight ever. In my opinion, at his peak may have been the best fighter ever but that's another discussion for another day right so looking at light heavyweight arthur better beef pretty much known as the best light heavyweight in the world we do not have him we got dimitri bivol dimitri bivol is who i'm finna be using at light heavyweight I mean, of the modern people, obviously Roy and you got some more legends, but Demetri Bivol might be my go-to. Boxer, puncher, slick, power, got a chin. I, I like Demetri Bivol. He gonna be Canelo too, but I don't know if y'all ready for that truth. Okay, we got Joe Smith Jr. Hard hitting, Joe Smith. We got him in the game. Let's get it, right? Maxim Vlasov. We don't got Vlasov. I mean, I know he's not a a huge name, but hey, it happens. He's still up there a little bit. Gilberto Ramirez. No, we don't got the great brother. We don't. We don't got. Uh, we don't got this brother right now. Uh, he would be a great addition, I think. I mean, be somebody fun to play with. He been running it, so hey, we want him. Callum Smith. Man, I'd be okay if we reduce some of the British fighters. We've seen too many of them. But, I mean, he not in the game either. I need my brother Marcus Brown in the game. We need Marcus Brown. I know he lost bad to better be, but he was giving them all he had. We need him in the game. Anthony Yard. I mean, hey, I'm not tripping if you're not in, great brother. I'll be honest with you. I will be honest with you. Um, obviously, we also have Lyndon Arthur. You know, Lyndon Arthur pretty good. 
Um, we got a couple more names here. Obviously, Sergey Kovalev. That's a London legend. Hey, we gonna have an okay division, but you know, like I said, of the modern guys, I at least, at least let's get better B Van and get Marcus Brown and and Gilberto. You know. Yeah, so we got to get Zerto up in the game, man. Very popular. They say he up next. So, hey, we got to get him, Marcus Brown, better beef. At, at, at minimum, I say, right? Just to keep, just to give a fair showing for the modern people. All right, we got next, super middleweight. Let's get it. Let's look, okay? So... Let's look at the super middleweight division. All right, got super middleweights pulled up here. Super middleweight, right? Now we got the dude. Canelo. I call him Cinnamon. Um. <laughs> Let me stop. Let me stop. We got Canelo. Clem Buterol, Alvarez. Some people call him the European Hunter. <laughs> Cinnamon, the European Hunter. Oh my goodness. Anyway, anyway, all right. So super middleweight. We got, we got, we got, we got your boy. We got Cinnamon. Obviously, great. We do not have David Benavidez. I mean, David Benavidez is pretty much unanimously known as the second best super middleweight in the world. We need him in the game. His style, his size. Even though he's on the list right here, that was an error. He has not been confirmed for uh, ESBC, so we need him in the game, bro. We got Sweet Hand. We got Caleb Plant. That's a great one. Billy Joe. Uh, we don't got Billy Joe. I mean, it'd be cool to have Billy Joe. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, we need. <laughs> See, this is what I'm like, like. Like, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Anthony Durrell. We need Anthony Durrell. You know, Anthony Durrell. I would want to do like a Anthony Durrell, a Lamo. I mean, it'll be cool to have some of these people. You ain't got to have all of them. But maybe, like I said, if we could get the top five or six, I'd be okay. And if we got another nice name. Like if we get Darrell, we get Benavidez, get Ryder or Lemieux, I'll be okay with this. This is going to be okay division. Now, the, the real tragedy, though, I'm, I'm about to get to the tragedy, though. This this is the tragedy, the middleweights. This is where it gets sad. This is where you break down in tears. I'll be real with you. Bruh, the top three middleweights in the world are not in the game unacceptable now do i think some of them will be in the game yes i do yes i do i think they got triple g and they're gonna just hold him back for a later announcement but as of now they don't have him in the game or has been confirmed and i do think they're gonna have demetrius andre in the game just because his connections with um eddie hearn the zone or Dazen as champ side great brother calls him and like I said Jamal Charlo I mean PBC is just it's it's really underrepresented up up in ESBC that's that's one of my complaints about it. it's all these people are great obviously the legends are great you got other guys that are not PBC that are that are very good still but like it really just shows like i'm not about to cap with y'all like when i say like fans are not finna use probably 97 percent of these middleweights right here they're not about to touch them like danny jacobs will be used amir Amir Khan may not even be used because he got glass chin. Nobody finna pick him. 
Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Look at Lemieux. Okay, we got Lemieux. Lemieux, super middleweight, he right here. So great, we got Lemieux. That's cool. Um, Bro, like, I'm not... Bro, like, come on. I'm, I'm not... Bro, ain't no... Okay. Danny Jacobs, cool. Edgar Belonga, he straight. Amir Khan not getting picked. I'm sorry. And like I said, the top three guys on there. We do got Jaime Munguia. Awesome. That'd be nice. I mean, Chris Eubank Jr. would be cool. I mean, geez. Bro, Marauder. We don't even got Marauder in the game, bro. It, look, we don't even got Sergi Devrinchenko. Sergi Devrinchenko actually beat Triple G if you watch that fight. Triple G lost to Devrinchenko. I want him in the game. We don't got Triple G, Charlo, Andre. We got Mungia. We need Eubanks. We need Sergi Devrinchenko and my Ryota Murata. So that's seven dudes right there in the middleweight division right now that we don't have in the game. Rather, of the seven that I want, we only got one in Mungia. Man, that's tough. And Danny Jacobs, I mean, let's be real. He out his prime right now. So I'm not even sure what version of Danny Jacobs we finna get up in ESBC. <sighs> middleweight, middleweight, middleweight. We, we gotta get the middleweights going. Okay, let's keep on trucking. Super welterweight. I mean, this one worse. This is this is worse than middleweights. Super welterweight. I mean, bruh. Bruh, I don't know if we got any other top. Bruh, like. This is bad. I mean, starting, like I said, with PBC, bruh. It's, it's glaring. PBC, like. They hold on boxing, bro. Especially these premier divisions. 54. 47. Like. We gotta we gotta get these folks, bro. Anyway. No Jamel Charlo. No Brian Castano. No Fundora. No Swift Jerry Heard. We do got Ares Londolari. Uh, Ares Landy, Lara, you know, but like he he's older now. I don't know what version he's gonna be. If he's prime, that'd be cool to use him. He has a good style. Um, we do got Tim Zhu. I saw him somewhere. We got Tim Zhu. Right, four top guys we don't got. And granted, let's be real. Tony Harrison is the third best super middleweight in the world. I mean, super super weather welterweight. Anyway. No Tony Harrison. I need Tony Harrison in the game for selfish purposes. And no Erickson Lubin, bro. Like, we need all eight of these people. They got big enough names in boxing. They got unique enough styles. We need all of these people, bro. But we do got Israel Medramov. And we got, um, I think we saw Liam Smith in here somewhere. Like, it's, it's just bare bones. It's bare bones up in here. Like, like I use Jake Paul before I use any of them fighters up in the game. I'm sorry. I know. I know. I'm tripping. But nah. Let's just be real. Like, we need, we, need, we need these people, bro. Like, these people need to be in the game. Like, can we package some of these randoms? And I, look, I'm not trying to disrespect nobody. These are all professional boxers. You know, but let's be real. We don't need this many damn sparring partners and come up fights in career mode. Package three, four of them and throw a bag at Jamel Charlo or Castano. Just get the people that the people want, bro. Let's get the people that people are actually finna use in the game. Like we wait using resources, scanning folks, people ain't finna touch. Like, who is this? Back to Mir. M Melikus, bruh, nobody's finna use him, bruh. Look at me. Nobody is using that brother. We didn't scan him in the game for, bruh. 
Don't waste resources on no people like that, man. I need quality over quantity. Don't, bruh, some of these names, right? Bruh, Zana Beak? Come on, let me stop. Let me continue. Where we at, man? Super welterweight. Su super welterweight and middleweight are just insulting. I'm be real with you. Let's just go to welterweights. I mean, bro, you know what? It's in it's still insulting. Lord have mercy. It's still insulting. Lord have Lord have mercy. It is still middleweight to welterweight. And Linus E may light lightweight may be bad too. Oh man. Bruh. Let's look at this. First and foremost, Bud is not number one at welterweight. He has fought a old he has done nothing but fight Earl, Earl Spence leftovers. Bud overall may have a claim because he was undisputed at 140. Didn't fight nobody, to be real with you. But at 47, Arrow is the top dog. The big fish. He coming for Ugas too. Hey, respect to Ugas and Errol Spence. Errol, Errol the truth. The big fish. So anyway, we got Terrence Crawford. Great. I'm happy we got Terrence Crawford. Awesome. Here we, PBC issue again. Here we go, guys. No Errol Spence. No Jordanus Ugas. No Boost Ennis. I think we got Virgil Ortiz, though. He's, he's somewhere. We got Virgil Ortiz. Hold on. Hold on, I think we got we got Virgil Ortiz. I seen him somewhere. Maybe we don't. We may not have Virgil Ortiz. And if we do, y'all correct me on that. But as of now, I don't think actually we don't got Virgil. We don't got Virgil Ortiz. What am I talking? We don't got no Virgil Ortiz. Either. No no Keith Thurman. No one time. We ain't much got Stanley Onis, bro. You Stanley Onis look like a brother that'd be in the game. Just off the rip. Standing on this. No standing on this. No boot out of But guess but 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 guess who in the damn game though? Your boy Connor bruh. Let me bruh. I'm about to be I'm about to get mad, dog. But like we, 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 we got air missing everybody, but we gonna get Connor Ben. Bruh. Pat, what you doing, dude? I'm I'm upset. See, like if everybody missing right here, that's gonna be... the people that we over here missing. I'm be real with y'all. If we gonna keep these big glaring holes out the roster, that's how Fight Night is gonna come back. And I don't think the game Fight Night gonna be good. I'm supporting ESBC. I, I love the creators of that, but just from a name point, and I say that because. I played pro evolution soccer seeing what FIFA did to them just because FIFA bought out the official team licenses to have the official kits it destroyed Pez bruh now they doing free to play esports yearly subscript like bro Pez is dead because they don't have the official stadiums, official names, official kits. Even with option files, it didn't work. You can have a creative community where you need to get the official people in the game. If FIFA, or if EA come through, if they come through with Floyd, if they come through with Errol Spence, the Charlos, Triple G, Bro, it's it's not gonna be pretty. Keith Thurman and like it's it's just it's just a lot of people missing. Like now every division I'm gonna go through, I think me personally, I got two theories. Either Al Heyman and the PBC fighters do not wanna touch this game for just the the zone and like the the zone connections to ESBC bro 
you know, let's be real, like, the zone and kind of like match room and they got their hands all over the game. I don't know if that's why. Because I know we got Sean Porter in the game still, right? Or my other theory is, I mean, Caleb playing PBC too. My other theory is they got all the guys, but they just holding off. And that's what I pray. I I feel like Arrow is a chill dude. He be laid back. I think he would want to be in the game. Ugas, he's so grateful for where he is in life. I think he want to be in the game. Obviously, Boots, Ortiz. I mean, it's no negative to be in the game. People are going to just look up who you are, look up your, your fight results, look up your fights, get to know you. Like Thurman, like people, the more exposure you get, the better. So I'm hopeful. I think a lot of the guys I'm mentioning are going to be in the game. But that's me being optimistic. But right now, middleweight to welterweight is of current fighters. It's not looking good. I'll be real with you. It's, 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 it's looking bad. Okay. Anyway. Um, let's keep going. Super lightweight. Now, I think this is an okay division. Right. Okay. So, as we know. I mean, and you at least got the top two people. You, you already starting off right. First and foremost, Josh Taylor lost to Josh Taylor lost to Regis Progre. He got the decision because he was in he was at home. He lost to Regis Progre, but he really he also really lost to Jack Catterall. Right? Let's just let's just be real. Josh Taylor should not be champ. But anyway, I'm happy he's in the game still. Right? We do have Josh Taylor. Right, he's listed as a welterweight right now, but he's in the game. We got Regis Progray. Regis Progray is my favorite super lightweight right now. I think he's actually the best. We got Regis Progray. I'm happy about that. Jose Ramirez. Yep, no Jose Ramirez. Zapata. No Zapata. Jack Catterall. No Jack Catterall. I mean, look, guys, I don't want all these folks, but, like, we need Gary Antoine Russell. We need people that are that are known, that are names, that are good enough. Like, we need some more of that. We need a little spark, you know. Like, I'm not tripping if this these folks not in the game. Barbosa and Matias and um, Ergashov, like... But, but but Gary, hey, he get enough. He got enough clout. He should be in the game. At least put Jose Ramirez in there. Top rank guys seem to be. I think all the top rank guys are gonna get in. It's like m most of them in right now. Tyson Fury, Josh Taylor, uh, Lomachenko, Shakur Stevenson. Only one that's not that's big on top rank right now. I mean, even Bud, he was with top rank when he signed, so Bud counts too. Um, we'll get to him obviously, but uh, Anui, we got no Anui, we got Tio Fimo. Let's keep going though, let's keep going. But I mean, I'm happy they got the top two though. But we need we need Catterall, we need one of well, he, I would say Ramirez and Antoine Russell, so they got like two out of five. Lightweight, am I about to be mad, y'all? Oh god, I think I'm about to be mad. Yeah, I'm about to be mad, y'all. It's looking bad for lightweight too. It's looking bad for lightweight too. Lord have mercy. Tired. I don't know if you need to start twerking or what you need to do, dude. But you need to get some more fighters, son. This ain't acceptable. I'm sorry. It's, it's the, the roster. I'm happy to have a great boxing game, but the roster, as is, is 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 not acceptable. We got George Cap Bosis. <laughs> oh, Cap self. But um, I'm happy he's in the game. We got George Cap Bosis Jr. Awesome. The lame over. Teofimo, 
uh we don't have him in the game i do want him in the game just from name and what he's done in the sport i'm happy we got loma lomachenko is gonna be great to use in the game happy he's in he's another top ranked guy <sighs> this this one hurt me the most Devin Haney will not be in the game unless some drastic changes. He already said he's not going to be in the game. Why? I don't know. I honestly think maybe because he's Muslim, something to do with his uh, his faith about making maybe idols or representations of himself. I don't know. I'm not sure, but um, maybe that's what it is. Or maybe the money wasn't right. I mean, it would make sense he's in the game. Eddie Hearn literally is like the main promoter up in, up in here. Lou DiBella, all of them, like... Bruh, Devin Haney need to be in the damn game. Devin Haney with top rank right now. So maybe Bob Aaron can convince him to be in the game too. So maybe maybe that's our hope. Devin Haney is with top rank now. So that's our hope that he gets in the game. Devin Haney's my favorite lightweight. Back to back to PBC. I know Javante's with Floyd now, but that's dang near PBC. No, no tank. We need tank in the game, bro. Let's let's be real. And then we we need Queen Ryan, you know. We Ryan Garcia. Let's be real. He needs to be in the game. Isaac Cruz, he needs to be in the game. Another PBC guy not in the game so far. Joseph Diaz. We need him in the game. I mean, look at this. Richard Comey. We could get Comey in the game or Fortuna. I get some known, respectable, random, well, not random, I'm disrespected, not randoms, but just some more known, let us fight Richard Comey and Fortuna and Karimo, like, some of these folks, bruh, bruh, I did, get, come on, some, come on, dude, some of these names is, like, insulting, like, get some of these folks in here, so, like, of the, let's say the top eight, we have two of the top eight in lightweight. That's out of control. That is out of control. That that's unacceptable. I'm sorry. That's just unacceptable. And you know, hey, I love ESBC. I'm for the game. I'm excited for it. I'm patient. All of that. But the roster as the the, the roster don't. It's it's not. It's not. It's not getting me up, bro. Okay, let's go. Let's just let's speed it up a little bit. Junior lightweight, man. Junior lightweight. Okay, as we know, like I said, it's not updated. We do have Shakur Stevenson. I'm happy about that. We got the number one guy. We got Shakur. That's a big one. I know boxing fanatico is happy about him. That's his favorite favorite fighter. We got Shakur. That's great. We got Jamal Heron. Look at that. When you come out with the top two, two guys, top two, three, like you already, you could breathe a sigh of relief. So if you're missing one of the big guys, it's okay. You got the other one at least to make up for it. So Shakur, Jamal Heron, great. Um, Oscar Valdez is obviously the third, uh, probably the second best. You know, he lost his last fight, low key. Um, He's in the game too. So I'm happy about that. We're happy that he's in the game. So we got, let's say, three of the best junior lightweights or super featherweights, as I call them. Okay, also, too. Look at it like this Consocia. I would like him in the game. That'd be a good one. I think that'd be a good one. You know, I want to say, this is the brother that, um, really beat oscar valdez last fight when oscar valdez popped for the mexican burritos canelo be eating i would like him in the game and then of course some prospects with hype and like a name bro put old shaggy foster up in there man let's put old shaggy foster in bro we need old shaggy man like people that are unique they got a name they got some comfort like got a you know old shaggy gary antoine russell Let, we need them the kind of people you put in the game even if they ain't number one in the division put them kind don't put like don't put some of these like i don't want to disrespect these folks but some of these dudes are just not finna be getting touched but those shaggy people mess with those shaggy right 
Come on, let's go to featherweight. Okay. Featherweight. Oh, look at that. Virgil Ortiz Jr. is in featherweight. I knew he was in. So, hey, my apologies. We got Virgil Ortiz Jr. Okay, I'm happy about that at least. Virgil Ortiz, great, great. Okay, at featherweight. Emmanuel Navarrete. Looking both, I mean, I'm gonna start looking at both of them to make sure they're not a different weight class. Yep, no Navarrete. Mark Masego. Nope. Mauricio Lara. Nope. Warrington. I think we got Warrington, right? We should, well, we should have Warrington at least. Damn. We even got Warrington. I mean, of course, and you know, we know, we know we need the the man himself, Gary Russell Jr. We need Jerry Gary Russell Jr., bro. Come on, man. Come on, dude. Gary Russell Jr. Come on. You, you, you got to have Gary Russell Jr. in February. Like, he better than all these dudes. Like, I know he had a tough last fight, though. I ain't going to lie. He lost that one. But we need Gary Russell Jr., dude. Another PPC guy. Kid Galahad. We got a kid, though. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, y'all. Let's 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 fix the DLC models. Let's throw some more bag out. We got to do something, man. Like, qual like quantity is okay, but like, we need quality. We need quality. I'm sorry. I'm, it's like some of these people are not people are not even finna touch. I'm sorry, people are not about to even touch a lot of these guys. Junior featherweight. Hey, we got Steve Fulton. That's what I'm happy about. We got the great brother Stephen Fulton. <sighs> Man, I'm I'm happy we got him at least. Jeez. Jeez. We got Daniel Roman. We got Danny Roman is right here. Morodijan. Ak Madelaviv. Uh, let me check over here for him. Hey, we got him. Okay, ESBC, hold on. Okay, this is the first division that I'm not crying about in a long time. I ain't felt like this in a long time. What Cardi be doing? No, I mess with Cardi though. Anyway, um, so featherweight, I guess super featherweight. Is okay. Super featherweight because they got Shakur, Herring, Valdez, and now we here at uh, Super Bantamweight. Actually, sorry, this is Super Bantamweight. Super Bantamweight. We got three top guys: Brandon Figueroa. We got Figueroa. No Brandon Figueroa. Angelo Leo. Nope. Yeah. That's all I want to see there. That, that'll be a straight division. Let's go to Bantamweight. Ah, uh, boom, 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 boom. The glamour division of the small guys. Big one, like I said, Noah Nui. Pound for pound, top five for most, top three to some. To some, top two, maybe one. We need a Nui, bro. Come on, we need a Nui. We need a Nui badly, bro. Let's see something. 
I want to say Donito Donair is in the game though somewhere. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Donito Donair is in the game. I'm happy he's in. John Real Casimiro. Yep, got him. Emmanuel Rodriguez. Nope, he's not in the game. Uh, of everybody else, I'm not really tripping too much off everybody else, to be real with you. We got Lee McGregor, cool. Like, a couple of just names in the top 10 just sprinkled in. Like, that's cool. Gary Antonio Russell, we need, it. we need the great brother. We need the great brother in the game. Let's go to Junior Bantamweight. I think it's a, we're, get, we're reaching the point where it's like, brothers, y'all need to eat a sandwich. A man should not be this small. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry y'all. I don't understand it. Super flyweight. Juan Francisco Estrada. We got him in the game up here. Great, great, great. Roman Gonzalez. We got him in the game. Great. We don't have his brother in the game. Kazuto Aoka. Kazuta Aoka. <laughs> Let me stop. Okay. Nah, we don't got Aoka in the game. Fernando Martinez. And nope, nope, nope. Josh Franco. And no. Okay. Um, we got Sonny Edwards. Great. About I'm happy about that. Anyway, I'm not about to go through the rest of these. I'm not about to no man should be this little light, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not about to keep going through them. So, overall, I'll just be 100% honest with y'all. Going a little mini rant here. This is just the current fighters I just went over. I know they probably holding back a bunch of guys, and I'm hoping they are. But, to be real with y'all, The roster right now is just, it's, it's, it's way too many gaping holes. I mean, right now, heavyweight to be fine because heavyweight is filled with legends, right? Legends, it's, it's, what heavyweight is missing is a lot of the older legends, right? We're missing AJ. We need AJ. I want Dillian White. You know, I want Andy Ruiz. Besides that, we got everybody, right? Cruiserweight, it's very sparse, very sparse very empty no breeders light heavyweight we need better beef super middleweight we need benavides middleweight i mean middleweight we need everybody everybody in middleweight boo boo triple g charla i mean we don't even got marada yet bro virgil ortiz i mean well we got virgil ortiz actually And then this like welterweight, super welterweight. Oh, super super welterweight might be the most bare. No Charlo, no Castano, no Tony Harrison, no Swift Jared Heard, no Fundora, no Lubin. Guys, welterweight, no Errol Spence, no Ugas. Lightweight, lightweight, bad too. I mean, super lightweight, solid, lightweight. Obviously, no Haney, no Tia Fimo, no Queen Ryan, no Tank. I mean, guys, this is. I'm typically pretty positive. You know, I'm 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 happy for the game, but to be real with you, 11 year weight. And I know it's not fully, I know ESBC will want everybody they can get, but something has to be done. It's too many names missing. It'll feel incomplete. Who, who are we looking at? Like, bro, some of these people, like a lot of the roster is filler. Filler dudes, like don't take 
and round up three of these thriller people and give me a, a, a name that I'm going to use in the game that somebody's going to recognize and want them to make them go buy the game. I'm telling you right now, a lot it's, it's a lot of filler. It's a lot of fluff in the roster right now. Not enough meat. It's a lot of fat up in here. It's a lot of bone. So, guys, that's my time. I do think, a, I, the people I think that will be in the game, let me just say right now, I know the video's been going pretty long, but I think Ryan Garcia is going to be in the game. He's too marketable not to be in the game. Um, I think Triple G is going to be in the game just from their connections. I think Anui going to get in from top rank. I think AJ is going to be in. I'm hopeful Boo Boo Andre going to be in. Ugh, but... Beyond that, guys, everybody else is PBC. Either they all are a package deal. They just want too much money or it's just they don't want in. And I'm kind of nervous for that. So, hey, let's stay positive. Let's hope that ESBC and Todd and them can get everybody in the game. I know they're trying their hardest. I'm going to do another video talking about the legends that are missing. Because it's quite a few legends that are missing. Essential legends that you can't tell the history of boxing without mentioning their name. So, hey. Like, comment, subscribe. This is your boy, Woke. Hey, man. YouTube saying that y'all watching the video without subscribing. Subscribe for your boy. Show love to your boy, Woke, man. We here. We going to keep doing it. I'm going to start maybe doing every two days, I'm going to release a video. That's all I'm going to do. Every two days, every two, three days, right? I'm putting a video out for y'all. Something creative, something just from your boy, Woke. So, hey, like, comment, subscribe for me. Uh, hit the bell icon when the videos drop. I appreciate y'all. Much love. Shalom. Salute.